And now if the children would come for the children's time with Kim Parsons. Hey guys, how are y'all? Ready for school? Neither am I. <laughs> I have to go tomorrow though. You don't, right? It's going to squeak. Um, you know, we've come into a brand new year, 2016. That's unbelievable, isn't it? I don't know where 2015 went. It went so fast. But I have a Bible verse I want to read to y'all just for a second. If I can make it bigger, the eyes are small. Since no man knows the future, who can tell him what is to come? And that comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 7. Can you predict the future? Can you, can you predict it, Jamie? Can you predict the future? You can't? Well, I heard that somebody said it's supposed to snow on January the 11th. That we're supposed to have a pretty good snow on January 11th. What do you think? You think it will or you think it won't? You hope it will. You hope it will. I don't know. I think I'd rather just get out of school in May myself, but that's a little bit like predicting the future, isn't it? When they say it's gonna snow on whatever day down the road. Well, you know what? The only day we have any control over is right here, right now, this minute, today. We don't have any control over any other day, do we? Nope, because we're not guaranteed, we're not even guaranteed that we're gonna be here tomorrow. Who's got control of all of that? God, yeah. He's the only one who knows our future. But the good thing about that is, he has our best interests in his plan for our future. And if we believe in him and we pray to him and we ask him to forgive us of all the things that we've done over the last year as we come into this new year, um, we can kind of predict a little bit of our future if we plan to begin to live more for God because do you think your days will go a little bit better? Yeah, we can remember to get up in the mornings and say our prayers and ask God to guide us and be with us. So even though we can't predict the future, as we start into this new year, I want you boys to know that God holds your future in his hand and it couldn't be in any better place. So let's have a prayer, okay? Father, thank you for these boys and for what they mean to our church. Help us that we can be examples to them to know that uh, you do hold our futures and you have us in your hands. Even as you uh, know the least things about the tiniest things in the world, you know everything about us and our plan. Help us to remember that uh, as we walk daily with you, to put you first in all things. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> 